Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs. My growing extended beautiful family, which we are like growing like crazy, it is so beautiful. So if you are sharing the channel, Thank you so much for the love and support, being able to resonate with others in different parts of the world on different, you know, on different sides of the road or whatever you want to say, different walks of life. That's what I meant to say, you know, is a beautiful thing, you know, knowing we can all just say, hey, I'm going through that or hey, you know what? I'm glad I'm not the only one going through this. And oh, that's great that I'm not going crazy. I'm not losing my mind. So with all that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. So drop me a few lines, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you toward the positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really hard times at the moment, you need validation and confirmation towards the life path or, you know, their purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me each and every day. It's so gratefully appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is so beautiful because they have, um, I got it on my big screen, so I'm seeing, well, you know, flat screen, whatever you want to call it, um, the yin-yang symbol, you know, it kind of reminds me of the twin flame. It's called Achieve, Balance, and Restore Brain Power. His, uh, oh, his, oh, I don't know what kind of word that is, hence for whatever, synchronization, <laughs> music, deep. Uh, meditative states now we'll post that link in the description box below i don't know why i'm getting tongue tied today it's just certain words my you know my mouth don't even want to sit up here and perch out and say um but today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka is trying hard to get to the light at the end of the tunnel y'all i can i can totally relate to you there's times where you know like i said in my other videos you you know you're tired of being tired you're trying to see the big picture of every crazy thing that comes at you you know there's times where i've said you know whatever you put out is what you get back not all the time because sometimes you get tested on just the fact is you know if i place this on her life you know his or her life you know are they going to go about it the same way they did before or they're going to actually be grateful for what they do have in their life you know and that can be hard at times especially you know that's all you getting back is like you know you getting you know bs coming from you all different directions and on top of that you're still trying to stay humble you know you're still trying to stay prayed up and be blessed for everything trust me i know <laughs> when you're like when is my blessings coming you seeing all these blessings coming off to other people and you try to congratulate them and i always make you know i always try to be grateful when you see other people going through you know they're they're going through an upper echelon or whatever you want to call it of blessings and you you know you send positive out you never be nasty or you know never wish like oh i wish they didn't get that don't ever do that because you'll repel your blessings so quick and i try to tell people that because it's like what they're doing on their journey is you know what they're doing on their journey what you're doing on your journey is what you're doing on your journey never sit up here and compare your journey to one other person you can't do that because everybody's on a different journey you might be able to resonate with the things that are going through what they're going through at one time you know we, we go through setbacks we go through failures we go through mistakes you know we all supposed to make that that was that's what makes us human we learn from those different situations that's how you get successful you know because i mean it's a blessing if you can sit up here and do something and shoot off and you get blessings right away you know but i've also said about the microwave dreams you don't want to get the microwave dreams because the microwave dreams do not last they don't last long you know so you have to appreciate the hard work that you put into it the elbow grease that you actually had to use to get that stain out your life you know you have to do that and you know and it's just the fact it, when you can step back and see the bigger picture and i try to tell people that step back when you're not in your emotions because there's times trust me i get like that too i said i'm i'm tired of going through the things i go through you know i've seen a lot of people that connect with me and i've been 
the nice is upon nice and when they see things for me they might be for me at that point and the next thing you know they're wishing my my blessings away from me and I used to get very pissed off about that but now I'm just like you know it allows me not to really let people engage into my dreams like that because I try to keep it towards myself because it's like when people see the things that are going for me you know they, they you know they they tend to see things in a not in a good light so they try to repel my blessings from me and, you know I used to get mad at the universe like how are you allowing these people to bless against my my blessings like that and allow them to be all having all these things going on for them that that totally is not cool you know so it's just like you know people always used to look at me sideways you know and it's a blessing when people know who I am know who I'm related to and they don't treat me different and it's sad when you go through situations like this because I never endured this before you know, people act different around me at times. You know, some people are like, oh, okay, you know, you're related to such and such. Okay, that's fine. And then other people that are just like into my dad, they either get jealous about the situation, I get mad, or don't want to believe it, or they just shy away from me. And I'm like, hey, it, it is what it is. So, all I know is I keep pushing. I keep doing the things that I'm doing. You know, I just keep working on me. You know, I can't, you know, I can't control how people think about me and what, how they think about me. That's, you know, that it care, I care less about that. Especially if I know I'm pushing out love, positivity, that's what counts to me. If I know if I'm doing that for you, regardless on how, you know, that says a lot about my character and a lot about yours as well. You know, how you receive that. So it's just like going through all these different things. It's been hard, you know, being able to you know being able to see myself in a different light like that and it's just like finding out who you're related to i've lost a lot of friends i lost a lot of family people that were like my god parents are really close to me i we no longer talk just because the fact is my situation i'm going through you know they you know they see me like they, they wish that I didn't have this or, you know, they know things about me and didn't say anything. And that's a hurtful situation when my mom has trusted people and has said, you know, if something happens to me, please make sure she, she gets to her biological family. And they know things that would not say nothing. That's a hurtful situation. But it's just like, you know what? It's all good. So I work my butt off to get where I got to get. So whenever this does happen... You know, I can't say nobody helped me. I did this all on my own. You know, I've had blessings along the way from different people that helped me realize things I didn't probably recognize about myself. And those are blessings. But the actual work I did on my own and ain't nobody going to sit up here and say they helped me with anything. So it's just like, you know, I exited all those people out of my life. And it was just really hurtful because I really love these people. But... I want to be able to get through this light at the end of the tunnel, knowing, you know, blessings are coming my way. I don't know when they can come. You know, they're always, you know, when, whenever you least expect it. So, you know, you keep doing you. You keep pressing on, you know, no matter how people see your life. They can't judge you. Only God can. You keep pressing on. You know, if, if they say something bad about you or whatever, obviously they see you as a threat or competition. You know, I've had that a lot. You know, and it's just like, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to stop being me. And, you know, at the end of the day, and I tell people that all the time, no matter what you think about me in my life, it ain't going to stop who I'm related to. I'm still going to be me at the end of the day. And it is what it is. But I know my situation has really brought me to levels that I never thought I was going to be able to go. Being able to see my life in so many different ways, knowing I've helped thousands of people, you know, whether regardless if they had something good to say about me or bad to say about me at least i can say you know i helped them i'd be able to help them see a lot of things that i wasn't you know they probably weren't able to see with them themselves or you know they may have something good to say but it's just like when you go through your life you know having to be able to go through some really traumatic things and being able to see you know what i got blessings coming you know and it, it, i mean it takes a lot for you to have to see that when you have been in a dark place for so long if you feel like you know it, it's sad because some people have been in situations i've been like that where blessings come along i'm like is this a setup what you know is there any hidden motives behind this you know it, I, i've been in that route you know even when i get when i sit back and look at my life and i'm just like is this really happening to me? Am I really related to the people I, you know, related to? You know, I, I mean, there's sometimes I sit there and, you know, 
because there's people I've known for years and, you know, they, you know, connect with me on Facebook and they finally seen something I wrote when it come to my dad or whatever. And they're like, wait a minute, did I miss something? And I'm just like, oh, I ain't trying to explain this again to anybody. But, you know, especially if they know my family. And I'm just like, hey, it is what it is. They're like, wow, we didn't know. I'm like, hey, you know, a lot of people, shoot, I didn't know either. <laughs> you know? So it's just like, but being able to go down this road, it's been hard. But it's taught me a lot. You know, I, I've got my strength in ways that I never dreamed I was going to have. Being able to be wiser. Being able to. Uh, bring a lot of, you know, you know, uh, positive things to the table, to the forefront, to help a lot of people see the things in their life is like, you know, I know it has to be hurtful for going through the trauma that you have experienced in life, and for that, I'm sorry. You know, I know I ain't the one that caused it, but I'm just saying, I, I know it can be really dark at times because you're just like, nobody truly understands what I went through. Nobody will never know what I feels like unless that happened to them. And, you know, and that's a sad situation to have to go through. But understand this, you know, even though it's hurtful, you can't allow the people that hurt you have that power over you no more. You never should give to my keys to your happiness. I've allowed my family to have keys to my happiness so long. I had to snatch that key back and I said, the hell with y'all. I'm going to drive my own car to my happiness. Bump that. You know, you stay in your lane and I'll stay in mine. And it's just like, I can just send blessings to them regardless on how bad they hurt me. You know, I, I you know, I still don't wish anything on them. At first I did. I ain't even going to lie. I did. You know, I'm, I'll be honest. So I'll keep it 100, 200 with you. I ain't going to keep it 100. I'm just going to keep it 200 with you. If I can go further than that, I'll do that more. But being able to know my family has put me through so much hell to where, you know, I thought I was going to, you know, I tried to commit suicide a few times. But obviously God wasn't finished with me yet. You know, there's days I've cried my eyes out and allowed, ask God, please, I don't want to wake up the next day. But knowing my life had, you know, it had meaning behind it. I, I'm here for a reason. And you are too. And you, I mean, when you tend to know that and knowing you know, the universe is not done with you yet. There's uh, obviously a bigger picture, you know, uh, an important role you have to play in this this game called life. You know, when you can go through all those things and be worthy and say, you know what, I'm glad I went through these things. You know, I'm, I, I can see what I'm capable of. I can see the strength in myself where I wasn't able to see it before. Knowing, you know, this might be a dark time in my life, but I know there's a light at the end of my tunnel. I might not know how long it is. They keep telling me to be patient. Trust me, I hear that a lot of times. I'll be looking at them and I'll say, if you tell me one more time to be patient. I'm so tired. I've been patient. <laughs> and I've still been doing what you've been doing, but see, with me having that attitude has got me to where I had to be patient a little bit longer. So, I mean, I had to understand that, you know, you have to get the bigger picture. You got to see what your life is taking you. You're going through magnitudes of hardship just for you to be able to get onto that Mount Everest, Mount Everest of blessings. So I know I have to play a big role in my, in my part. To know that, you know, you have big blessings coming towards your way. So you're going to have to go through a lot of hell. And it's just like when you find out when you're going through so much hell and you you pray for certain things. And it's just like the blessings you have, you weren't even praying for that. But you just, it, I mean, I'll have you step back and you probably wouldn't even believe it's real when you get what you get. So it, it's just like keep doing you. Love yourself, you know, uh, be patient with yourself, be gentle knowing you're going through this for a reason, uh, knowing that, you know, better days are coming for you, even though sometimes it's hard to see that. You have to just be able to believe and have faith in the universe that they're not going to let you down. They didn't send you these far, this far out for, you know, just to abandon you and just to have, you know, put you through shame. You have to go through trials and tribulations to be able to, you know, uh, Get those blessings that you truly deserve so keep going don't lose faith you know i know things are hard trust me i know <laughs> there's days i'm just like i'm so tired of going through this bs you know the more positivity i go through the you know more bs i get served but you know when you go through that you know the devil the devil already know what the heck is in store for you so that's the reason why he'll keep throwing that mess at you because he doesn't want you to have that so you keep going. It's like not today, Satan, and not tomorrow, and not next week either. So you keep going and doing you, knowing there is better days coming for you. 
I realize and know that you do have a light at the end of that tunnel. You just really have to not lose focus on where you're trying to go with all the distractions around you. And you know that those distractions will come in many forms and many shapes and many sizes. So stay woke and pay attention. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. Drop me a line or two and let me know if you really truly, you know, resonate with this video. I'd love to hear your input. Um, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Give me a thumbs up and even share. You know, if you feel like somebody else needs to, you know, be on my channel, go ahead and, you know, uh, send them my way. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, uh, all of Olipop underscore one. I forgot how to say your name. All of poop. Whatever. L. I mean O L L P underscore one. You know, much love to you. Um, Eddie M. And with expectancy, much love to you. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing that better days are coming your way. All right. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.